Stan Gibalisco here uh, with a little information from my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics edition number five. I will provide a link to the Amazon.com site for this book in the description of this video. So you can click on that link and it'll take you to the advertisement for this book and you can look inside and decide whether you want to buy it. I hope that you do. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about today is the radio spectrum or the RF spectrum, the formal frequency and wavelength breakdown of that spectrum. A lot of people don't know when you talk about VHF, UHF, what exactly is meant by that? What do you mean when you say uh, microwaves, for example? Well, here you go. Microwaves generally, by the way, are the super high frequencies and extremely high frequencies. But the lowest radio frequency designation is the very low frequency band VLF. There's some dispute as to where it begins because the lowest legal application or allocation of it within this band I believe is 9 or 10 kilohertz. Some people say 9 or 10 kilohertz but to be in consonants with the powers of 10 as they go up in frequency or down in wavelength well let's just use this 3 kilohertz to 30 kilohertz 100 kilometers long that's how long a 3 kilohertz radio wave would be 30 kilohertz and I've heard signals at that frequency on a VLF receiver 10 kilometers long so they sometimes call these kilometric waves. I wonder why. Low frequency band is 30 to 300 kilohertz and so on up it goes. And there's a table in chapter 25 that actually looks just like this and it breaks down the designators medium frequency, high frequency. You might want to do a screen capture of this and make an image of it and use it for your own reference if you don't want to buy the book just to get this table. Very high frequency. When somebody says VHF, they mean a signal between 30 megahertz and 300 megahertz with a wavelength longer than 10 meters but shorter than 1 meter. Uh, ultra high frequencies, UHF, 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz. And those are the two most common um, radio frequency band ranges, frequency ranges. The frequencies go up by powers of 10 starting in 3 and they go down in wavelength starting with 1's. Uh, this is assuming the speed of light for the propagation speed of the waves. And I learned all this when I had to study for the extra class license in order to get this call sign W1GV as an amateur radio operator. Whiskey, one, good vibrations. But you won't hear that on the air. You'll hear da 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 And there are three, at least three, playlists in this YouTube channel devoted to ham and shortwave radio. Most of the amateur frequency allocations that are popular among radio amateurs are in the high and very high frequency ranges. For example, the 40 meter band is at 7 megahertz, the 20 meter band at 14 megahertz, the 2 meter band is at 144 to 148 megahertz and on it goes but radio hams also have applications up here at UHF and in the microwave zone and once you get past this 300 gigahertz point and you start approaching a terahertz you're talking about infrared radiation visible light ultraviolet x-rays and ultimately gamma rays which we used to fear so much 
back in the days when we thought that the Russians were going to blow us all to smithereens. W1GV, Whiskey 1, Good Vibrations, or the CW rendition saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long, which in the Morse code translates to da 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 Gee, I turned this into a ham radio video. And I thought it was going to be a teach yourself EE -E miscellany video. Flip a coin and decide. Until next time, so long.